morning and welcome to the Casual Chef's Kitchen. It's Sunday morning, which means Robin and I went and did our shopping at Bel Air Market this morning. Did some wonderful shopping, got some extras, trying out a new butter this week. Um, yeah, it was a good time. Last night, I prepared a savory sweet chicken supreme. It boils down to this, folks. It's a knockoff version of a sweet and sour chicken. Rod and I discussed it this morning while we were shopping. Eh. I will post up the recipe and let you try it. Yeah. I have done other sweet and sour chickens and sweet and sour porks that had a much better um, sauce that are more true to a what we Americans think of as sweet and sour. So I will post it up. Now today is a multi-step process for me. I am making a dish my former wife introduced me to. It was something that she grew up with and that was part of her family that her mother taught her. As you know, my former wife is East Indian. This is basically, okay, in their home, they called it Palau. Basically, it's Indian fried rice. But this is a fantastic meal. It's one of the favorites in the house. I guarantee if I texted my daughter Serena that I'm making Palau today, she would be very jealous because she loves Palau as well. So it's really simple, but it, you have to do it in steps or it gets overwhelming. And I'll show you why. Let's go to it. Got the hardware out. Yes, that is a big mixing bowl. Every kitchen should have one of these. Because when it comes down to it, everything I'm going to cook is going to end up in that bowl to be mixed. Yes, the wok. As you know, I love my wok. And everything is done cooked in the wok. I went ahead and already cooked my rice um, for the dish. Of course, there's olive oil involved. I'm using boneless, skinless chicken thighs, which will get cut up to bite size. I will be scrambling some eggs. Kosher salt, black pepper. There will be half sliced red onion. This is the fun twist is I will be using half a bag of this mixed vegetable mix with this. Um, I add the ginger. There's, I kind of made this recipe my own. Um, I add ginger. This time it's normally not called for, um, but I'm adding mushrooms. I, I'm, I'm in a mushroom kick this week. There's like three or four meals this week that have mushrooms in it. Um, so I picked up some, some baby bellas, which I will quarter. Um, for this, I have one leftover red bell pepper from the farmer's market, which I will use. I'll, you know, cut this up. Um, I'm using some jalapenos and some serenos. The jalapenos I picked up yesterday at the farmer's market, the serenos I had left over. Um, baby bok choy. I bought baby bok choy yesterday at the farmer's market, but I don't need it all. So I'm going to be using these four segments, whatever you call them, um, in th this palau. Um, in cilantro, um, because it's, it's, it's Indian. Um, this is used mostly as a garnish, but yes, you do get the, the cilantro flavor to it. What makes this unique is the garam masala. This is an Indian blend of spices. It's very popular extremely popular in the Indian culture. I mean, it, it, it's what they live on. Curry is based on garam masala. There's no heat in this blend. There is no pepper, no peppers whatsoever. So that's big difference between garam masala and curry is the heat. Um, I use a blend. I, I have made my own and I used to get garam masala 
I used to get garam masala from Dea, my former wife's mother. She was like four foot nothing. The sweetest lady in the world. Most, most is probably not the right word anymore. Uh, many, many, many Indian families blend their own garam masala. They have their own recipe. It's like 16 ingredients. And every garam masala is different. Yes, I based my garam masala on Dea's. God bless her soul. She was a wonderful woman. Yes. So, so is dried basil, which the basil I'm using is from the local spicery in Marysville. Also, their oregano. And I'm going to be using just a little bit of chili powder. This is a red chili powder that I purchased at LA Merchandise over on Palora here in Yuba City. It is an Indian red chili powder. Now, the one thing common with this palau versus um, like a, a Chinese fried rice is soy sauce. This is a soy sauce I picked up yesterday at Super X Market in Linda, California, at the Asian market. I used um, some of this in last night's dinner, and it's actually very tasty. It's very good. And today is garlic day, because you probably noticed there was no garlic. Because here's the garlic for today's meal. There is the Thai basil um, that I picked off so I could hang the rest of it to dry. It's still looking pretty good today. Um, yes, I have garlic duty to do today. So, yes, there's plenty of garlic in the palau. So, this is, makes great leftovers. I mean, I have brought it up last week. What is great the next day? This is great the next day. Robin, I guarantee you, <laughs> will be taking plenty of this palau next week to work. Hopefully sharing it. All right. On this Sunday, have a great day, eat great food, and have fun cooking. Mm -hmm.